The B vitamins are like your body's pit crew. They keep your metabolism running, your brain firing, and your energy steady. They're water soluble, which means your body doesn't store them. You need to get them daily. Let's break down how to do that with food. I'm Zoe Reed, and this is Medicine Made Simple. B1, or thymine, is essential for nerve function and turning carbs into energy. You need about 1.1 milligrams a day if you're a woman or 1.2 milligrams if you're a man. Here's how to get that. One lean pork chop, which is about three ounces, gives you 1.1 milligrams. Seaweed, one cup, 2.66 milligrams of thymine. Sunflower seeds, one cup, two milligrams of thymine. And macadamia nuts, one cup is 1.6 milligrams of thymine. Having one of these a day is enough. No supplements needed. B2 helps with energy production, skin, and eye health. You need about 1.1 to 1.3 milligrams a day, more if you're pregnant or breastfeeding. Here's what that looks like on your plate. Six ounces of steak gives you 1.3 milligrams. One egg adds 0.3 milligrams. One cup of mushrooms gives you another 0.5 milligrams. That's over two milligrams of B2 right there. Check. B3 supports circulation, lowers inflammation, and helps your body make stress and sex hormones. You need 14 to 16 milligrams per day. Here's one easy way to hit it. Six ounces of chicken breast, a solid 22 milligrams. One avocado adds 3.5 milligrams. Two tablespoons of peanut butter gives you another 4.3 milligrams. That's almost 30 milligrams of B3, double of what you need. B5 helps your body make energy and hormones. And honestly, it's hard to be deficient if you're eating real food. You need around five milligrams a day. Try this combo. One cup of shiitake mushrooms, 5.2 milligrams. Half an avocado, 1.4 milligrams. That's 6.6 .6 milligrams, done. B6 supports brain health, mood, and immunity. Women need around 1.3 to 1.5 milligrams per day, and men need about 1.3 to 1.7 milligrams. Here's an easy B6 win. Six ounces of chicken, 1.6 milligrams. Six ounces of salmon, another 1.6 milligrams. One avocado, 0.5 milligrams. Total, 3.7 milligrams, more than double of what you need. B7, also known as biotin, is the one people buy for hair, skin, and nails. But you can absolutely eat your way to healthy levels. You need about 30 micrograms per day. This combo will get you to it. One cooked egg, 10 micrograms. Three ounces of beef liver, 31 micrograms. One fourth a cup of sunflower seeds, 2.6 micrograms. That's 43.6 micrograms, covered. B9, also known as folate, is especially important for anyone pregnant or trying to conceive, but it's also essential for cell growth and making real blood cells. You need 400 micrograms per day, 600 micrograms if you're pregnant. Here's one day's worth. One cup of cooked lentils, 358 micrograms. Half a cup of asparagus, 134 micrograms. One avocado, 82 micrograms. That's 574 micrograms, more than enough for most people. I should stop here to say that if you are pregnant, you should be taking folate supplements because it's really important for your baby's health. B12 helps your brain and nervous system stay sharp and keeps red blood cells healthy. You need 2.4 micrograms per day and animal foods are where it's at. Here's one day's worth. Three ounces of beef liver, 70 micrograms. Two eggs with yolk, 1.2 micrograms. One can of sardines, 7.6 micrograms. You only need 2.4 micrograms of B12, and you're getting over 75 micrograms from real food. And now for the question of the day. Be honest. Were you getting enough B vitamins before watching this? Let me know in the comments below. I'd love to know what's on your plate. Like and subscribe if you like this video, and leave a comment below. Until next time, everyone.